Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Glory Cordero. Today, tam, 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 I'm making mollejas al escabeche or chicken gizzard marinade. Um, stay tuned for the ingredients and the recipe. I guarantee you guys that you're going to love this recipe, my style. All my family love it, they go crazy for it. They never can wait to make this dish. And for this dish, it takes a lot of patience. It's easy to do, but it, takes, it needs a lot of patience. If you're not a patience person, this dish is not for you. Stay tuned for the ingredients and the recipe. All right, guys, for my chicken gizzards, I'm about to be using four packs of these chicken gizzards. Um, the only reason I'm using four packs is because I'm doing this for my job, and it's a lot of people there. But if you got little bit people in your house, just use two packs um, and reduce all the ingredients in half. I'm going to be using caldo de pollo, chicken bouillon, or sopita. Um, it doesn't matter how you call it, the end of the road, it's the same. I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil. Um, I'm going to be using salt. I'm going to be using one cassava or a piece of cassava. Or yuca. I'm gonna be using like about eight green bananas, the little ones. Um, I'm gonna be using like about one cup of white vinegar. I'm gonna be using garlic powder, oregano, black pepper, bay leaf, three whole onions, and we're gonna cut it in pieces, like in round pieces. We're gonna be using Sp Spanish salad olive. We're going to be using adobo. So these are my main ingredients. See you in a moment for the recipe. All right, guys. First thing we want to do is boil some water in a big pot. The egg, all you get some fit in. We're going to put a little bit of salt to taste. We're going to put a little bit of adobo. We're going to put oregano. To taste, we're gonna put a little bit of garlic, we're gonna put a little bit of black pepper, we're gonna put one bay leaf, we're gonna throw the two cubitos or the sopita or caldo de pollo in from one cup of vinegar. We're going to put half, just to tenderize the meat. And we're going to start throwing our geysers in. I got all my geysers in. And we're going to let this baby boil for about two hours, shake them from time to time until they tender. If it takes more time, I'm going to let you know, by at least two hours. When you see the water is drying, just pour a little bit of water, if they not tender yet. Once they tender, we're going to turn it off and see you when they tender. Now, I'm going to proceed to the next step. Now I'm about to cut the green bananas. I'm going to make a slit in the middle. like this and 
and we're gonna do this into the old look like this see you in a moment I'm about to cut my cassava now for the cassava we're gonna grab the big piece I'm gonna cut it in half just like this and I'm gonna kind of do this and then we're gonna do this is the easiest way to peel a yuca or a cassava do the same thing this is my like the easiest way that I found for me to peel it so easy see we're gonna do this to the rest of the cassava then we're gonna chop it up in pieces like this, I'm gonna show you one moment. Like this, like this. In pieces, small but not that small. And we're gonna proceed to the next step. Alright guys, now I have two pots of boiling water, as you can see. I'm going to add salt to both of them. Two tastes, like about two tablespoons. In the small one, I'm just going to put my cassava, just like that. And in the big one, I'm going to put my guineos, just like that. And I'm going to let them boil. For at least 30 minutes each or into they get soft. So you know moment when they done. Alright guys, my cassava are done. My green bananas are done. I'ma turn these babies off. I'ma let them cool down. I'ma drain them first. Then I'm gonna let them cool down and see you for the next step. Alright guys, while my guineas and my cassava cools down. I'm going to be making the really good oil that we're going to pour in the top of our gizzards when they done. I got the whole three onions already cut and chopped in slices. You can cut them any way you want to. We're going to put a half a cup of white vinegar. We're going to throw four bay leaves. I'm going to throw my olive I'm gonna do some black pepper everything is to taste you put as much as you want I'm gonna be putting garlic powder as much as you want I'm gonna be putting oregano As much as you like. Final but not least, we're gonna put the extra virgin olive oil. Guys, it has to be olive oil. It cannot be any other kind of oil. And you can put as much as you want. I'm gonna give this a stir. Mmm. Look at this goodie, guys. You can always do this step in the stove if you want, but I prefer to put them in the microwave. I'm going to put this baby in the microwave to make this delicious oil that we are going to put in the top of our geysers, our bananas, and our cassava. I'm going to put this baby in the microwave for at least 30 minutes. See you in a moment. Right, guys, now mine. Bananas are already cooled down, and we are going to proceed to cut them in slices, like this. Into, they all look like that, we're going to put it aside. Same thing for the cassava. My cassava is already dry. I'm drained with no water. I'm just gonna grab one and we're just gonna cut it in pieces like this. It doesn't matter 
how small you want them. It's always to your discretion, guys. How small you want them. I'm just gonna cut them like this. Like this. Into the look like this and we're gonna put them in the side and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put this baby together in a moment. Alright guys after 30 minutes look at this beauty mm. look at this beauty mm. it's what I'm talking about my kids love my chicken gizzards so this is the oil with the onions and the olive and the bay leaf and all the good stuff that I just put it in the microwave for 30 minutes. This is my green bananas and my cassava. Um, I'm going to set this in the side until my geysers are, my geysers are still not ready. They already been boiling for at least, I can say they be boiling for one hour. We're going to leave them for another hour or so. So I'll see you in a moment when these babies are tender. To teach you how to cut them in pieces and assemble this chicken geyser o escabeche de guineitos con mollejas y mi toque especial, yuca. Alright guys, after two hours, my geysers are already tender. I'm about to drain the water. Uh, let me turn stuff off. I'm going to drain the water. And I'm going to show you how to cut them in pieces. And then we're going to put this baby together. And I'll see you in a moment. Hey okay, guys, my chicken gizzards are already super tender. And I'm going to show you how to cut them. Just like this. I'm just going to cut them. See? They so tender, look. You can cut them really easy. Easy. Really easy. Since they already really tender, they easy to work with. And guys, I'm going to show you something. If you get a gizzard that look like this, they got this hard part in it, we only going to take it out. Just like this, throw away. No big deal. And we're gonna cut all the pieces into the all look like this. Alright guys, this is how my chicken pieces look after I cut them in pieces. Gorgeous. I have my olive oil ready. I have the goodness that we did earlier, remember? This is the oil, olive oil with the olive, with the um, onions, with all the goodness. If you see the video, you know what I'm talking about. This smells so delicious, guys. The you is going to fall in love with this dish. And I also have my green bananas with my cassava, my guineo, con mi yuca. And we have a little bit of garlic and a little bit of black pepper just to taste for the final touch. I'm about to assemble this baby inside the oil with the onions and the goodies. I'm about to put all my chicken kissers just like that. And we're going to give it a stir. Mm -mm -mm, this smells so delicious. And I'm about to throw my cassava and my guineos in just like that. Just like that, and this one, the oil, no, not the oil, first the garlic is going to come up, we're going to put a little, as much as you like, this to taste, black pepper, I know we already put some earlier, but it's never too much of these ingredients, when you're doing this dish, and we're going to put, of course, our olive oil, just like this, this is to retouch, and we are about to incorporate all the ingredients together. We're going to give it a stir, a big stir. And we're going to incorporate all the ingredients together. 
that the way incorporate all the goodness. Look at this beauty. Mm -hmm. Jessica, this I did this dish for Jessica too. My daughter Pookie, she loves chicken gizzards the way I do it. Mm -hmm. Look at this, Jessica. Take the first bite. Take the first bite, Jessica. Mm -mm -mm. But this is just not done yet. Don't think because we put all the ingredients together. It's done. Mm, look at this beauty. Mm, mm, mm. We are about to put this in the ditch. I'm using this one, the clear one. You can use whatever you have. I'm using the clear one. I'm about to put this baby in here. I am about to pour this goodness in my ditch. Just like that. Mmm. With the juice and all, we are about to put all this in the clear ditch, just like this. And we are not done yet, guys. I'm about to cover this baby. And we're going to put it in the refrigerator to marinate for at least six hours or overnight. See you when my dish is completely done. All right, guys, after six hours in the refrigerator, this is my final result. Mmm, how gorgeous this looks. Mm -mm -mm. You can see all my oil, all the goodness. Mmm, this is perfect for the holiday, any parties. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch. I hope you like and enjoy my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And please share, share, share. You haven't subscribed, 